It has been a little while since I've done one of these. Truth be told, honesty. It's because there hasn't really been hardly any decent indie titles in the Nintendo Switch eShop. So this is going through the Nintendo Switch eShop. I'm Auckland. If you enjoy my content, please hit the subscribe button, like button also. Share with your friends who don't mind. Also, please comment, ask me a question, or comment in general. I'll do my best to answer them. Also, if you don't mind, hit the notification bell down below. And you will be notified when I go live or upload another video. And if you want to become a fan of me, Auckland, then subscribe to the channel and you will become a fan of me. Alright, I'm in the Nintendo Switch eShop. So let's get started. Um, starting off with Poyo Poyo Tetris 2. The Ultimate Puzzle Match. Releasing on the 8th of this month, which is December 2020. Next is Monster Sanctuary. It looks like it might be a side-scroller and possibly something else as well. Releases also on the 8th. Heroes of Loot. Right there. It looks like a old school style video game and might be fun. I'm not sure. Releases on the 8th. Uh, L O F I Ping Pong. Looks like you're just pretty much playing ping pong. Not for me. Now, this game. Uh, Ghost Runner. Not sure exactly what it is, and there's, it's just an image. Let's see if I can find out some more information about it. Welcome to the future. It's gonna kill you. Ghost Runner is a hardcore FPP slasher, packed with lightning fast action, set in a grim cyberpunk. Okay. After a world. Sounds like it might be interesting. Because I know that Cyberpunk is coming out pretty soon. So I guess the Nintendo Switch will get a Cyberpunkish game. Probably nothing like it though. That releases on the 9th if I didn't say that already. Uh, I. A. I. Right there. Releases on the 9th. Doesn't really look like a game for me. Next is, it's like, Eden Pixel Junk. Definitely not a game for many releases on the 10th. Evolution Board Game. Definitely not, definitely not for many releases on the 10th as well. Now, I can't pronounce this title, but you'll see it in a second or two. Right there. Cannot pronounce that title whatsoever. I'll give you a closer look at it. Something Justice. It looks like an old school side scroller. Looks like it might actually be pretty good. Um, next game, and that releases on the 10th. Next game is ALT Frequencies. Releases on the 10th. Looks like it might be some type of music game okay accidental queens collection right there it's advertising it might be some kind of music game as well looks like it will include that ALT frequencies game and two other games another lost phone and a normal lost phone as the other two games okay that collection releases on the 10th next is octo octo oct octoflight octofight right there oh, I'm not so sure about it releases on the 10th as well 
flashy cube. Right there. Definitely not for me. At least it's on the 11th. Autumn's Journey look like, possibly. Yeah, I think that's what it's saying. Autumn's Journey. Eh, not for me. At least it's on the 11th. Uh, Persian Nights to the Moonlight Veil. I'm not sure about that game as well. Releases on the 11th. War Planes, War World War Sky Aces. See what I'm saying? This is why I haven't really been doing these, going through the Nintendo Switch eShops all that much, is because there's just not much in here. But there are some interesting stuff sometimes, but not lately. Next game. Oh, and if I didn't say already that. War game releases on the 11th. Next is Jigsaw Fun. Piece it together. Releasing on the 14th. It's like you're literally putting puzzles together. Literary. Next. That releases on the 14th. Boot Hill Heroes. Looks like it might be a old school RPG of some kind releases on the 15th next is dark grim I can't say that word but it releases on the 15th right there I cannot pronounce that title at all um, next is collection of saga final fantasy legend I know there are some people that are looking forward to this collection because it is old school Final Fantasy. And this collection releases on the 15th. And let's see if I can find out what games are included in this. It is Final Fantasy Legend. Um... Final Fantasy Legend, Final Fantasy Legend 2, and Final Fantasy Legend 3. All together. Next is Shakes on a Plane instead of Snakes on a Plane. Why not? I guess it's a parody. Except it's called Shakes. Why not? Releases on the 15th. Uh, next is, I can't pronounce the title, I'm going to see if I can get to the title a little bit better. Still can't pronounce it. That's the title of the game right there at the top. Uh, it doesn't look like a game for me um, at all. Releases on the 16th. Next is... Defen, Defen, Tron, Tron, I don't know. That game right there. Does not look for me. Does not look a game I would play at all. At least on the 17th. Next is Mercenaries Blaze, Dawn of the Twin Dragons. Releases on the 17th. Looks like an old school style, maybe RPG, or it might look like it might play in the style of maybe um, Fire Emblem, possibly. Next, that released on the 17th, I didn't say it already. And same game as Ghost for the Deep Diffentron, I don't know. Uh, next game is Traditional. Traditional Tactics NE Plus. I'm guessing it's a tat it's a tactical tactical game. Not for me. Not for me. Releases on the seventeenth. Next game has got some Japanese in the title, so I'm definitely not going to be able to pronounce it at all. 
It's got some English, but it's mainly Japanese. It looks like Japanese. It could be China or Chinese or something. But releases on the 17th. Next is Yum Yum Line on the 17th. Looks like it's trying to be like Tetris, but something different. It's one of those mobile type playing games, I guess. Got ported to Switch. Same goes for the next one. Gems of Magic. Lost Family. Yeah. Both of those are releasing on the 17th. Next is Outbreak Lost Hope on the 17th. Kind of looks like a first person horror game. Might be good. Next is Until the End. It might be a side scroller, I can't tell. But this is on the 17th as well. 60 seconds, uh, 60 seconds re optimized. Not a game for me as well. On the 18th. A bunch of these games I would not ever play. Freddy uh, Spaghetti. Uh, no. <laughs> Releases on the 18th. It's like all these games in here. Crazy. I'm just, it's just ridiculous. Uh, some of these titles, man, I tell you. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Alright, both of these games right here. That one. And this one. Smart Moves is this one. Both of those games are releasing. Oh, actually. That one. Is releasing on the 18th. And Smart Moves is releasing on the 21st. These titles, man, I'm just tell you, it's crazy. I don't know. These, man, this is crazy about these titles. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. Just looks like some kind of music game. There's a title of it right there. Releases on the 21st. Uh, this one also releases on the 21st as well. Killer Chambers. It's like an old school style game. Land Flix. Instead of Netflix, it's Land Flix Odyssey. It's like an old school style side scroller. Might be good on the 22nd. Next is this game right here. However you say this title. Uh, Clo, 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 I don't know. Releases on the 24th. Next is Spirit Arena on the 24th. I don't think so. Uh, dungeon. Uh, dungeon something for the next game for the 25th. Nah, it's just not for me, man. It's just not for me. Now, the next games, there's like six of them. It's like almost the same title. It's um, Bit Trip. Core, Bit Trip Void, Bit Trip Runner, Bit Trip Fate, Bit Trip Flux, and Bit Trip Beat. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> All releasing on the 25th. Next is Candy 2048 Challenge on the 25th as well. It's like another mobile game. 
for it to switch. Next, it looks some type of pirate game, but it's a puzzle game as well. Well, this is on the 25th. Next is Dungeon Top Spell Swords Chaos. It's like another puzzle game. Releases on the 26th. Next is Cube Life Island Survival. It's trying to be a knockoff of Minecraft, except it's Cube Life. For 26. This game may get some hate or it may get some praise. It all depends. If you're a Minecraft fan and you go into Cube Life, I don't know if you will like it or not. Maybe you will. Next is Door Knickers. That's what it says Door Knickers. Door Kickers. Okay, Door Kickers. Releases on 26. And. Not for me. Next is Void Source on the 28th. Oh, there it is. Eh, my bad. It's just fun. No, it's not for me. Um, Dungeon Lim Limbus. Right there. For the 28th, Wingspan for the 29th. Next is No More Heroes 3. With no release date just yet, but I believe from the last Nintendo Direct Mini Partnership Showcase that we had, it had a 2021 release date. High to something logic, I don't know, some kind of puzzle game. Right there on the end. Releasing on January 1st, 2021. Iris Fall on November, on January 7th, 2021. Next is Life of Fly on the 14th of January. Next is Ghost Annoyed on the 21st of January. Then it's Adverse on the 22nd of January. Like a first person survivalist game. He's got a bow, he's got a fishing rod, all kinds of stuff like that. Now this game, I've seen advertised on Amazon, I cannot pronounce the title. I know the series is loved by fans, and there's tons of titles in, the, in this franchise. And it's releasing on the 26th of January. I think it's a RPG, I think. Next is ReZero can't pronounce the title as well, 29th of January. Next is a big one, Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury releasing on February 12th, 2021. Pet Clinic Cats and Dogs. Pretty much says what it is on the 18th. Bravely Default 2 on February 26. Haven't got around to playing the demo yet. Haven't played the previous titles in the series as well, but loved by fans. Monster Hunter Rise on the 26th of March. Now also next year, I think it's next year. Supposed to be getting another Monster Hunter game as well. You got that version, and then you got the deluxe edition as well. And then you got 
is it Chris Tales? Right there. With no release date. I know this game has been out on other platforms. Um, I believe it's a side scroller. Looks like it might be really fun. And then last game is King's Bounty 2. With no release date. So, um, I'm going to try to get back into doing these videos again, but it's just these games in the eShop, man. I just tell you, these games, crazy games, titles, it's just most of them are not for me, but, um, that I've had a lot of trouble trying to film these videos in the past, and so I started doing them this way now. So, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Alright. Thank you so much. Alright. Bye.